Hi guys. Um and welcome to um Doki Doki. Let's go. Hmm. It's nice, I guess. Come on, I can already tell you don't like it. Well, you don't need to worry about what I think. After all, you wrote this for someone else, didn't you? Probably Yuri. Huh? I didn't write, for, write this for anyone specifically. Maybe. That's not really what I meant, though. It, but it's okay. You're making new friends, just like I was hoping. That makes me really happy. And you're happy too, right? In this club? Well, of course I am. Good. That's all that matters to me. Thank you, Riley. Sayori. Is there something wrong? Huh? <clears throat> no, nothing. I'm just a little tired today. <laughs> Alright. Just tell me if you need anything. I will. Don't worry about me, okay? You can go and play with go play with everyone else. I am not a child, Sayori. If you insist. Yay! I'm gonna go home a little bit early today. Sayori? Tell Monica I wasn't feeling well today, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Before I can say anything else, Sayori cheerfully walks out of the classroom, humming to herself. Huh. Hold on, let me move this up. There we go. Okay, you three. We're all done sharing poems, right? Why don't we start figuring out? Hold on a second. Is it just me or did you see some strains just now? Eh? Something did sound a bit unusual. That's right. You were di divided from your usual catchphrase when addressing the club. C catchphrase? I don't have a catchphrase. Jeez. Why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Uh. Stagnant in air is common, foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. In your book, maybe. Look, the only difference is that Sayori isn't here. Uh, it seems you're right. Yeah. <laughs> Sayori always helps lighten the mood a little bit, doesn't she? It's almost like everyone's balance is thrown off when she's not around. Where the heck does she run off to anyway? <laughs> Natsuki, please show some decency. Oh, come on. Uh, she pr actually wasn't feeling too well and went home early. Is that so? I hope she's alright. Seriously? Of all the times not to, not to not go home with her, you pick the time when she's not feeling well. So much for you two being all lovey-dovey. Uh, no. First of all. Stop misunderstanding my friendship with Sayori. And second, she's been, kind of been avoiding me today, so I didn't want to force it. Oh? That's curious expression came from Yuri, of all people. Calm down, guys. I talked to her earlier, and everything is fine. What did she say? Anyway, wait, oh, whoa, you just ignored me. Wow, okay. Let's decide what everyone will be doing this weekend. I already know what I'm doing. That's right. That's you, Kiyo, making cupcakes. We might need a lot of them. And different flavors. Can you handle all that? That all by yourself, Natsuki? Oh. Challenge accepted. And as for myself, I'm going to be printing and assembling all poetry as a plant. 
So Yuri will be helping me design them. And as for Yuri, uh, Yuri, you can, um, guys, can you help me come up with something for Yuri? I, I'm useless. No, that's not it at all. You're the most talented person here, you know. Now Natsuki's fighting too? Jeez, even I can tell now. I guess I'm, I never gave Siri enough credit, but I can tell things are even harder on you when she's not around. Uh, that may be the case. But if I can't also be a leader on my own, then I won't grow as a person. So, Yuri, you have beautiful handwriting, you know, so you should make some banners and direct decorations to help set the atmosphere. Your atmosphere? Oh my god, Yuri is so cute. Look at her. Just just look at her face. She's so cute. God. Okay. There we go. Sorry, guys. Um, I bought that. Oh, oh, oh. Click on the game. Sorry. I... I love atmosphere. Yuri's expression slowly changes as she stares at her desk in focus and starts nodding to herself. Your mind is already racing, I see. That's great. You'll need to be wonderful. You'll you'll be wonderful help, Yuri. But anyway, that just leaves you, Riley, the one who is truly useless. <laughs> Don't say that. In fact, both Natsuki and Yuri have some heavy tasks to handle. It'll probably go a long way to give one of them a hand. You could always help me out as well. I would be really appreciative of that. Uh, that's it's more like a suggestion I spend the weekend with the, my, one of my club members. How on earth will be going to respond? Uh, I suppose I wouldn't mind a bit of help. Uh, well, if you don't know about how to bake, there's always some dirty work I can give you. It's not like Monica's going to give me a choice. And you shouldn't be sitting there, but anyways. <laughs> Natsuki tries to mumble a bunch of excuses like that. Um, if I recall, Natsuki, you mentioned that you would like to handle the bacon on your own. Riley may not like to be around you if you only make him do a nuisance. Yeah. So therefore, oh, he may be more suited. Sorry, guys. With decorations. Hold on. I never said that. How di how hard could it be to make a few decorations anyway? Sounds more like you're just making excuses for early to. What are you saying? It'll be extremely meticulous work, and baking isn't. Just what do you think, guys? Guys. Let's slow down for a moment. In the end, I think it's up to Riley to decide who he'd like to contribute. Besides, he was—he hasn't really gotten the chance to spend any time with me yet, you know. So I'm sure he's. Oh my God! <laughs> oh no! You literally just said. I'm surprised as well. Sorry, sorry. I was just saying though. Jeez. Can we just settle this already? Yeah. Right, you're okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you. Uh, of course. Hmm. Very well. In that case, everyone looks straight at me. But of course, I'm going to go with... Oh, uh, I can't... No, I'm not gonna go see Yuri. Screw that. Yuri. I'll probably be most useful helping with Yuri. Or help, helping out Yuri. My god, I can't talk. M me? Are you serious? Why would you. Natsuki. I can already tell you're about to say something mean. No. I was just saying. Ugh. So you'll be helping Yuri then, Riley. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm glad. I'm, I'm 
I have a bad habit of overthinking these sort of things. So I think your assistance will be very useful. That's great to hear. Now, Tsuki, will, will you be able to handle the banking yourself? I mean, yeah. Alright, said it'll be fine. Okay, okay. Everyone, everyone can tell that Natsuki's feelings are feeling a little sour. So, is everything we need to go over? Yep, that should be about it. Are you guys excited? Well, excited may not be the right word. But I suppose I'm looking forward to it a little bit. You feel the same way, Riley? Me? Uh... Yeah. Uh, I guess you could say I'm interested to see how it'll turn out. That's good enough for me. What about you, what about you Natsuki? Dots. Natsuki! What? Why is everyone yelling at me? I didn't even do anything. No, no that's not what I meant at all. Uh, Yuri actually looked at this between everyone in the room. I'm sorry for this. I don't really know why Riley really picked me. And also, your cakes are the best cupcake cakes I've ever had. They go really well with my tea. And nothing I do for the event will compare to that, so. So, I get it, I get it. I'm kind of surprised, though. Why? Um. Well, I'm the one acting immature. I know that. But you're trying to cheer me up all of a sudden. I know I'm not very good at it. I'm sorry if I said anything bad. Natsuki isn't the only one surprised. Monica and I always are also taken back by Yuri's words. When she already has trouble with words, trying to cheer someone up must be far out of her own comfort zone. But, but I begin to understand. Yuri was trying to sound like Sayori, even if it didn't work perfectly. I could tell that she tried to say something that Yuri would say at the same at the, a time like this. Because Sayori always helps everyone smile and feel good about themselves. No. <sighs> I kinda appreciated it. I'm sorry for making a big, big deal on nothing. But I'm going to say this. Huh? You better bet- you better bet that my complications are going to the best part of the whole event. Uh, <laughs> I believe you. Yeah. I hope to see everyone do their best. But with that, there's nothing more today. So I guess it's time for us to head out. Alright, let's get out of here then. Everyone packs up their things. I start to follow Monica and Natsuki out the door as they chat between each other. Um, huh? I turn around. Sorry. I realized I don't have any contact with you this weekend. Oh, you're right. I can't believe it slipped my mind. Should I give you my phone number? I think that would be the best way, yeah. Alright then. Yuri and Ignat and I exchange phone numbers. Okay. I'll be stopping by uh, by your house on Sunday. Eh? Huh. My house? Is that a room? No, not at all. I just thought it was going to be going to your house since I'm the one helping you. Uh, I suppose that makes sense. If you don't mind, I think I'd prefer going to your house. Alright. In that case, it won't be a problem. I decide to not press Yuri for for a reason. It's not like it should matter either way, so I'll just need to make sure my room is clean. I hope I manage to keep make myself useful in some way. I'm not nearly as creative as you are. Don't under, under underestimate yourself, Riley. I think we will make a very pr productive team, even if you only choose because you felt bad or something like that. Wait, you don't actually think that, do you? Dots. I don't know. It's difficult to come up with any other reason you have chosen me. You're forgetting 
one reads with the common sense. The, uh, I read that wrong, my bad. I chose to help you because that's what I want want to do, but Yuri thinks to herself with extreme uh, intense expression. Yuri, you're overthinking this. You want me to point out when you're overthinking, right? Uh-huh. I didn't realize. I'm telling you, I want to. That's all there is to it. Do you believe me? Dot or I. Yuri th thinks really hard again. She looks straight into my eyes for a long while. I believe you. As if she took her tremendous effort, Yuri finally says that it relaxed her expression. And I'm really looking forward to Sunday. Yeah, I am too. After that exchange, I make my way up the door and Yuri follows. I can't believe this. Yuri is going to be coming to my house on Sunday. My anxiety shoots through the roof. Even though I've been pretty used to handling her at this point, there's no telling what might end up happening when we're outside school. More than that, she told me she was looking forward to it. Is this the chance I have to make something happen between us? Or is it too early for that? Only time will tell. But until then, I won't be able to take my mind off it. I seriously can't wait. It's oh, oh wow, okay. It's already Sunday. I've been getting incre increasingly anxious about Yuri's upcoming visit. I keep telling myself there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. Yuri is clearly an introvert and also an intimate person in general. There's no doubt that she'll open up a little bit when it's just two of us. Meanwhile, we've been texting her occasionally. She was extremely apprehensive at first, but it wasn't long before I started learning more about her. But, but putting Yuri aside, I haven't heard a thing from Sierra since she left the curl club. Blah, left the club early the other day. It's not like we text each other all the time or anything, but I've been worried about her in the back of my head. Is we what Sierra said and what Monica said? Is it really okay for me to put Sierra's feelings aside when she need, might need me? I decided. Oh no. Music's weird. I decide to visit each Sayori before Yuri comes over. Rather than thinking, I simply tell her I'm coming over, much like we've done in the past. Once I reach Sayori's house, I knock on the door before entering in myself. Again, we used to play so often that we have a habit of simply entering, entering each other's houses, like we are family. The house is quiet. Sayori is anywhere on the first floor, so I assume she's in her room. It's already tr strange of her not to run down and greet me. I head to her room where I finally find her. So you worry? Oh man, that scared me because there was no sound. That scared me. Hi, Riley. I sit down in her room. Siri forces a smile, but it's easy to tell that she's different. There's a moment of silence between us. You haven't came over like this in a long time, have you? Well, I guess you're right. It has been a long time. Not much has changed, has it? Siri's room is messy as all at it, ugh, as it always has been. I also recognize the same stuffed animals, wall decorations that she had for years now. <laughs> if you came over more often, it wouldn't be such a mess. Whoops, my bad. Sorry, guys. <laughs> That's because I end up ended up cleaning it for you. How come you suddenly wanted to come over today? Aren't you supposed to see Sierra see your today? Yeah, but wait, how'd you know that? Sierra had left by the time we decided the last meeting. Monica told me it's only natural for her to keep me informed about the festival preparations, right? Ah, uh, that's true. What about you? 
Aren't you going to help Mo helping Monica today? Of course. I'm just helping her online. We didn't plan to meet up or anything like that. Oh, so it's just me and Yuri then? Yep. There's more silence between us. So Yuri stares in a random direction. Everything about her behavior is really uncharacteristic. I finally get to the point. I just wanted to see how you were doing. After you left on Friday, when something when something's wrong, you can't hide it from me. I know you too well. So, Sayori so smiles, shaking her head. That's no good, Riley. Huh? Why well, can't it just be like it always been? Oh, wait, like, I probably read that wrong. Oh well. This is all my fault. If I didn't get so weak and actually suppress my feelings, if I didn't make that stupid mistake, then you wouldn't have been worried about me at all. You wouldn't have come here. You wouldn't have been thinking about me right now. But this is my is just my punishment, isn't it? I'm getting punished for being selfish. I think that's why the world decided to have you come over today. It just wants to torture me. <laughs> Sayori. I grab Sayori by the shoulders. What on earth are you saying? Are you listen to yourself right now? I know something happened to you. There's no other explanation for it, for you to be like this. So tell me already. Whew. Sorry, guys. I smell something that's coming from the neighbors. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, I think someone's. Oh, my God, so much better. It smells like. Um. Like someone's smoking weed. Anyways, until I know, I won't be able to stop thinking about it. Uh, haha. <laughs> Sierra gives me an empty smile. You really put me in a trap, Riley. But, God, that smell is disgusting. Sorry, guys. You're wrong. Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. You're just seeing it for the first time. Seeing what? What are you talking about, Sayori? Huh. You're, you're just really just to make me... You're really just going to make me say it, aren't you, Riley? I guess I have no choice this time. The thing is... I had I had really bad depression my whole life. Did you know that? Why do you think I'm late to school every day? Because most days, I can't even find a reason to get out of bed. What reason is there to do anything when I fully know how worthless I am? Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put their energy and caring to waste by having them spend, spend it on me? That's what it feels like. And that's why I just want to make everyone happy. Without anyone worrying about me. Dots. I'm in shock. I can't even figure out how to respond. How to respond. How is it possible that Sayori kept this from me the entire time that I've known her? Did she really want so badly to just. for me to just not think about her? Why, Sayori? Huh? Why is it that you've never told me about this? It's almost like I've been betrayed as your close friend. Because if I knew, I would have done everything. I could have could to support you. Even if there's only so much that I could do. I would have tried a little bit harder to make every day a little better for you. That's why I'm your friend. All you had to do was, t was tell me. You don't understand that don't understand it all, Riley. Why do you think I why do you think I didn't tell you? Because if I told you, then you would have to waste effort your, ugh, waste effort caring about me instead of doing important things. I don't want to be cared about. It's bittersweet when people try to care about me. Oh, it's oh, so sad. Sayori, really? I'm tearing up, guys. Oh my god. <sighs> Ugh. I seriously am gonna complain about my neighbor. One of my neighbors. 
Ugh. I'm sorry. It feels nice sometimes, but it's also feels like a bat being swung against my head. <laughs> That's why I wanted so badly for you to make friends with some, everyone else. Hoping everyone would be happy together is is the best thing for me. But then I discover someone else too. Soon you make friends, you get closer with everyone in the club. It makes it feels like a spare going through my heart. A spear going through my heart. So that's why. That's why I decided the world just wants to torture me. Every path leads to nothing but hurt. <laughs> How is she laughing at this, my god? You're right though. I don't understand. I don't understand your feelings at all, sorry. But I don't need to understand. Whatever it takes for me to help you stop hurting, that's what I'll do. No, Riley. There's nothing. Nothing at all. The one thing that could have helped is if everything could be like it, as it, like it always has. Was. But I was selfish. I finally showed you what a horrible person I am. Tears shriek down Sayori's face. I made you join the literature club because I was selfish. Now it's punished by my heart hurting in a way that I shouldn't understand. Now you came here, and I made you hurt too. I'm just making selfish. That's all I am. Sayori, oh my god! No! No, 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 no. That's why I'm going to accept these punishments. Because I deserve every last one. But without thinking... I once again grab shape Sayori's shoulders. This time I pull her into a tight embrace. Uh, Riley, Sayori, I don't care if you feel selfish. I really, I'm really happy that you convinced me to join the club. Seeing you every day makes it worthwhile, even enough. If I make friends with everyone else, then that's just a bonus. But please never underestimate how much I care about you. I wouldn't have had it any other way. Riley. Siri hasn't held me back. Despite my arms were wrapped around her, Siri's arms remain at her sides. She starts sobbing next to my ear. No, don't do this to me. Please don't do this. Riley, I. Siri barely manages. But Sayori barely manages to speak between her sobs. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. But all I want is for her to know that I care. If you have it in you to call yourself call yourself selfish, then you have you have to let me be selfish too. No matter what it takes. I'll figure out what needs to change. I'll make these feelings go away. And if there is anything that you need me to do, then you then you better tell me. I'll get mad if you don't. That's I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Gently, Siri puts her arms around me in return. I don't know anything. It's all really scary. I don't understand any of my feelings, Riley. The only time I'm even feeling... Uh, the only time I'm not feeling anything is when I'm feeling pain. But your hugs are so warm and it's really scary too. That, and that's really scary too. Siri lets me go. As she does, I let her go as well. The festival is tomorrow. Yeah. It's going to be fun, right? Yeah. How would you like for me to spend it with you? Um. Uh. It's what I want. I promise. I. I think that'll be nice then. Yeah. Sarah wipes her eyes. If I could. If I could spend the whole day here, I would. Of all days, it had to be one where I have plans. Maybe I could can't- No, don't. Please don't. If you do that, then I, I realize I really wouldn't forgive you. But... Sorry, guys. It's almost time for Yuri to meet me at my house. At the very least, do you want to come along and help out? It'll be fun. To my surprise, Siri shakes her head. I'm sorry. I don't know if that would be very good for me today. You understand, right? Uh, it's kind of hard for me to really fully understand. But I'm trying my hardest. It's okay. Don't worry too much about it. 
I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Alright. I look forward to it. I say goodbye to Siri and exit her house. On the way, I find myself still feeling uneasy. It's, but it's hard for me to keep thinking about it when Yuri is about to come over too. I think Sayuri is right. I shouldn't be worrying too much. And we definitely, and we're definitely going to have a great time tomorrow. I should just focus on what's ahead of me. As I approach my house, I see something that makes me, a, makes me feel a moment of panic. Yuri? Uh, thank goodness. You're a little early. Sorry I wasn't home yet. Were you waiting for me long? No, I just got here. I started to get, get really nervous when nobody answered the doorbell. You always could have talked, texted me. If I had known, I would have reassured, reassured you and hurried, ugh, hurried more on my way home. Uh, I swear that's true. I didn't think of that for some reason. It should, be, it should be common sense to do that, but I decided to ignore it. Anyways, let's go inside. I see you brought a lot of stuff with you. That's right. And you, did you manage to find everything I asked you to buy as well? Yeah, pretty much. At least I hope I got everything right. I'm sure it'll be fine. Dude, what kind of room do you have? Of course. Also, why is there a hanger just right there? That's supposed to be in your closet. <laughs> the first thing she does is glance around curiously, which makes me feel anxious. It's so clean. Uh -huh. I cleaned it before you came, so... That's very considerate of you to do. Uh, no, I would really embarrass from my room to be mess while, you're, while you were here. Blech. Can't talk. Hmm. Well, I do enjoy cleaning. Oh, I would have gladly helped you clean. Uh, that would be more embarrassing. Wait, don't look in there. I snatched your wish, wrist, which was in the process of opening a desk drawer of mine. Uh, I'm sorry. I was thinking for some reason. I was just spacing out. It's fine. It's fine. I look of Yuri's wrist. Did I say Sayori when I said Yuri? Uh. So, um, should we get started? Uh, yes. Um, I have a few things planned that you can help us out. Yep. Yep. You know, moonlightings, blah, blah, blah. Oh, wow. I didn't know you planned on taking it that far. Of course. I want to help 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 take our guests to, uh, uh, blah, blah. Although many will stop by just out of curiosity. And for cupcakes, I guess. I'm determined to provide an experience that will leave them wanting more. That's great. It's easy to forget that you're a pretty intense person. Uh, intense? I guess that's the best way to put it. Is that a bad thing? No, no, no. It's something that I like about you, actually. Is that so? That makes me feel relieved. And kind of happy. Yeah. No need to be anxious. You can, you can relax a little. Relax. I brought some things for relaxation. I was going to use them during the proper poetry event. Oh yeah? Like what? Let's see. Yuri rummages through her bag. She pulls out two candles and a wooden cylinder shaped object. I do some. I did some shopping, so I happen to have these in my bag. I plan to cover the windows in black paper and use the candles to light the room. I think that would be amazing, don't you? Yeah, that would be pretty neat. What's the wooden thing though? Oh, this? It's a diffuser for essential oils. How familiar are you with aromatherapy? 
Not familiar at all. Hell no. Oh, is that so? It's one of my <laughs> Vagola. Depends on the oils or herbs you choose. You can change the mood of the air itself. You can. Okay! Relaxation, positive, positive energy, romance, reflection. It's almost like magic. Almost like poetry. <laughs> Sorry. Yuri takes a cylinder, pushes a switch from the bottom. In just a moment, a thin ray of vapor begins to spout through a small hole on top. Wow, that smells wonderful. What kind of moon is that one for? This one is jasmine essential oil. It smells sweet and flowery, right? Yeah, that's a good way to describe it. It shows jasmine for its event because it provides more relaxation. Okay. You feel warmer and your heart pounds more heavily. Oh god, what happened? Don't you think that would be perfect for sharing poems? It does sound suitable. Well, you seem to know a lot about this, so I'll trust your opinion with opinion with anything. Yuri smiles gently, clearly enjoying herself. She again reaches into her bag and pulls out several spools of thin ribbon. What are those for? Well, did you purchase the origami paper I asked you to get? Yeah, I have it over here. We will be using the paper for 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 folding origami. What? I am going to complain. God, I'm sorry, guys. I am so angry right now. Like, God, it smells horrible. We'll need about a hundred of them. Oh my God. Oh yeah. What will those be used for? Well, I'm going to cut pieces of ribbon to hang from the doorway of the classroom. Then we can fasten the paper onto the ribbons to create a doorway curtain. Wouldn't that be beautiful? It would also catch the eye of those passing by the room. It may attract some to peek inside. That's really creative. I had no idea you, you'd be so good at this, Yuri. Is that so? Well, I suppose I do get a little intense, as you put it. <laughs> Yuri giggles in it with her red cheeks. Is it just me, or is she more relaxed than when it's just us two of us? Or maybe this is such ex it's the book, book, book. Here's the marker, Riley. You can write any character you want. I hope you I hope you once I finish cutting the ribbons. All right. Sit on the floor together. The two of us set to work. I carefully draw a different character on each paper, doing my best to manage my bad handwriting. Okay. Then she reaches into her bag once more and pulls out a pocket knife. Eh? The knife is the knife is strangely, strangely beautiful. The silver handle has. Uh, why does she have a knife though? Okay, that's no other knife. Pocket knife. Looks really, really fancy. Uh, well, embarrassed. Yuri looks away. What is it? I'm going to think it's weird. Yuri, whatever it is, I have no reason to judge. To each their own, you know. If you promise not, you won't be weirded out. Yeah, I promise. Alright. The thing is, I'm kind of into knives. They're just so pretty. I, I can't help it. I don't know what it is. The combination of... Cra of craftsmanship and a feeling of da danger, maybe. Um, what am I saying? Please don't think I'm weird for this. Huh. You're laughing at me. Or you're laughing at me. No, I'm not laughing at you. It's just funny how nervous you are about sharing. It's, well, it's an interesting thing to be into, I guess. But I think it kind of suits you. Suits me? Yeah. 
It's kind of intense. <laughs> Besides, it's really co it's a really cool looking knife. I can't deny that. It is, isn't it? Yuri relaxes her expression once again. Would you like to hold it? Sure, I'll check it out. Yuri carefully hands me the knife and with handle it with the handle facing me. I take it and turn around in my hands. It feels heavy and extremely solid. Where do you even get it? Get it? Very so much snipe sharpness. I feel the point on the nest of the next finger. Ow! Riley! Why did you do that? I didn't expect it to be that sharp. I just barely touched it at all. It's my fault. I should have warned you. This knife is extremely sharp. It, I, it can cut through skin like paper. Oh no. A small drop of blood trickles down the side of my finger. Yuri takes my hand. I swear, if you would do anything like the anime, I'll be mad. Don't do it. Don't you dare do anything that's weird. Uh, she stares at it and notices the fidgets. If you're squeamish, I'll go wash it off now. Uh, what the? What did I just fucking say, Yuri? Oh my god. Yuri, I just told you not to do something anime. And you did it. <sighs> Stupid anime. I feel like ah That's what they all say, Yuri. All the anime girls, men, whatever. I Yuri <laughs> Yuri loses her head, her face burning. Yuri. That's the most embarrassing thing I've ever done. How could I do something like that? I'm oh, sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, sure, it was a little weird, but it didn't... <laughs> but I guess she was just trying to help, I guess? Yuri, I think you're overreacting a little. Uh, she doesn't lift her head. Well, if she doesn't recover from this for, for the rest of the afternoon. Alright, you know what? This might be stupid to do, but I do it anyway. I take... Boy, I swear to God. Riley, did you really just do that? No, we're even. Yuri looks at me like I did something wrong. <laughs> I knew that would be a bad idea. If not for the aroma of jasmine oil, the air would be extremely heavy right now. You're so weird, Riley. Yuri giggles shyly. Huh? Yuri calling me weird? I have no response to that. Where do you keep your bandages? Uh, I don't think I need one, actually. There's a tiny cut. Look, sorry, stop bleeding. I see. That's relieving. The tension is quickly lifted. We each resume respective activities. I watch Jerry Snap cut through the ribbon like it's nothing but air. Meanwhile, I continue to make progress in the paper. <sighs> Just a second, I'm gonna save. Okay. I took. It looks better than I expected with every every effective. Wait. Will be very effective as a door curtain. It looks great. Good thing. Good thinking coming up with this, Yuri. Uh, thanks. It's just something I saw online, really. Are you ready to move on to the next task? Yeah, right, let's do it. What do you have in mind? I'd like to create a banner. That's why I asked you to buy a paint tab, tab, whatever. Uh, that's right. Okay. We'll need about six cups of water to put each of the tab tablets in. Do you mind fetching those for me? Or us? Of course not. Six cups of water. I'll be right back in a minute. Thank you very much.
Oh, just a little bit of water is okay. If you fill the cups too much, it will be too diluted. Taking Nora's advice, I put small plastic bathroom cups. Gary? Yes? I'll come into secret here, unrolling her sleeve, pulling it back over her arm. Oh, nothing. Your face is a little red. Is it too hot in here, Slim? Uh, no, not at all. There's nothing wrong, so. Let's mix the paint. So, I thought we would do some. I, I, okay, I can't continue, I gotta say. That was weird. Okay. I thought we could do something simple that would look very nice. I like to paint gradient, uh, whatever it says, across the banner. Starting the colors for a sunrise, then daytime, then sunrise, sunset, nighttime. Once it dries, I'll write an inspiration quote from across the banner. We can hang on the wall behind, behind the podium at the front of the classroom. Ah, oh, neat. Where are you going to write? Well, it'll be more fun to surprise you. You already smiles at me. If you say so. I should have went out the matter. You and I kneel on opposite sides so we don't get in each other's way. I'm not reading all that, good dig. This kind of reminds me of elementary school. <laughs> Painting on the matter. Watercolors feeling feels a lot like art class. Art class projects we have to, we had back then. It's relaxing. Uh, I'm sorry, it feels too childish. No, I didn't mean it at all. It's kind of fun, you know. Yeah, it is fun. I'm glad you feel that way too. Mary stops painting for a moment, th thinking to herself. For me. I don't need to go out and do crazy st things to have fun. In fact, I usually don't even want to. I just like to. I just like. I just like when I can spend time with another person. Even if it's just something simple like reading. It doesn't even matter if we don't talk much. Just having a friend next to me makes things uh, feel a lot bit ni a little bit nicer. Ugh, can't talk. I think that's that's all it takes for me to be happy. It's not so. Even if you and I are quite different, I can understand where she's coming from. <laughs> I feel the same way about game things like anime and games, where, where where simply sharing the experience with someone can make me happy. I th I think I feel the same way. You're. Oh, sorry guys. Yuri smiles gently. I knew you'd understand. Yuri leans over the banner to grab an unused paintbrush. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Yuri rolls back and I quickly lift my hand in surprise. Are you hurt? No, I'm not hurt. It just starred me, that's all. Sorry, I should have. I should have asked you to get it for me. That's not your fault. Uh, your face. There are droplets of paint on Yuri's face and neck. It's definitely on my face. Yeah, I actually got paint on you. Sorry, it's totally my fault. I'll get a towel right away. I rush and fetch a small towel and then dip it with hot water. I return to my room and kneel down in front of her. Oh boy. Oh boy. I think I'm gonna leave. I think I'm gonna leave it there. Uh, yeah. So, that happened. So, but. So, yeah, guys. I'll leave it here. And I'll see you in the next one. Um, so yeah.
please remember to subscribe and all that stuff YouTubers say. So, yeah. Bye, guys. Yeah.